Hello, I'll be talking about uh, creating three home positions for Fanny Kruba using the reference positions and the data position register. Um, first, to, go, to come to the reference position, you're going to go to Menu, Setup, Reference Position. And right here in number one, you press Detail. I'm going to name this my home number one. And I'm going to enable it. And I'm going to say also, whenever I reach this position, I'm going to turn on DO number 10, for example. So right now, I'm going to record this position, the current position of the robot. If it's not in the home position that you want, you move it to that home position. And then whenever it is in the home position number one, you press shift and record. And you're, that way you record this position. And when you record this position, after recording it, uh, you're going to have to put an offset for this position, plus or minus offset. And that's because the robot will not go to the same position uh, every time, like 100% is going to be the same position. It might be, right now it's in 47, uh, 836, it might be off 0 0.2 or 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, whatever, how, what robot you use and how accurate that robot. So, but it's going to be a little bit off. So, for to, to be always uh, turn on, for the robot to tell you always it's at home, um, you're going to be a little bit offset here. So I, I, I usually put one in all of them. If if it's not too matter, if you want to be, you want to you wanna give it more, uh, you want to get the signal when it's close, uh, not too close to the home position that you register, you put it two, three, four, five, doesn't matter. Uh, depends on how accurate you want to be, but I usually put it one. And uh, that way I get always the DO that I want and uh, I get also that uh, if you go to the menu IO the uh, U, uh, UO signals you get the at birch too uh, whenever you use reference position one so reference position number one is attached to at birch signal if you're using the UOP signals uh, if you're not using UOPs you don't need you don't have to worry about that you just need to use the do instead uh, for me i always use the do and i do use the at birch sometimes but i usually i do's and uh since now we have reference position number one is set up and done and now it's uh we know it's it's uh, uh it does see it's home because i see the at birch uh before we move the robot we're gonna go to uh, to data register here. Go to the first position register, and I wanna record also this position for my position register number one. So shift record. Here we go. Now I name this also my home number one. So now I have this position recorded in my reference position number one and in my BR number one as my home number one. In the program, you're gonna be using the BR number one. Uh, if you wanna move the robot to this position or call the home position, you're gonna be using the BR number one. That's why before I move the robot, I have both in the same position as my home number one. So now I'm gonna go to home number two. So home number two, I go back to the first window and go back to reference position number two, detail. And now, here there's something here, but we will name it home two. And I will enable it. And here, DO number 11, that's good, okay. Uh, home number two, it will turn on DO number 11. And now we need to re record this position. Uh, let's move the robot to the second position, our second home position, right? Move it this a little bit, move it here a little bit. This is my second bo home position. So now I press shift and record. And now I have this position as my home position number two. And I will put one at the same time here for my six axis I have one 
and uh, here we go. So now I go to the BR, and the same thing, I record this position. There we go, recorded it. And now I name it home two. So I have two homes now set up and ready. For home number three now, I go back, same way. I go to the reference position number three, detail, home number three, Enable it, turn shift off, enable. 12. And now I move it to the third. Let's move it to the third home position. There you go. Now shift to record. I have the new position. Give it some offset. Record it in my VR. Give it a name. Now I have. Now I have these three home one, two, three, and I have the VR one, two, three. And you can do the same thing, not just for home. If you have, uh, here I, I say home one, two, three, but really home two and home three, it's a position between uh, stations. Uh, so you can say before, pick up, after loading, whatever. So any position that you want to get a signal from, oh, these are not. Yeah, so you see here, the robot here in the, at, at position number three. So I have true for three and false for one and two. So any location that you want to get a uh, feedback whenever the robot in that location, you can use the reference position uh, and to get a feedback by triggering one of the output as a signal that the robot is right there. Uh, you can use that as also when the robot approach to a machine, you don't want the machine to, to close the door on the robot or anything, you can use that too. Uh, so this is my position. Now, here, all right, so, so now here, if I go to uh, my program, let me put some lines. If I want to call the home number one, I just tell it to go to your number one. And if I wanted to go to home number two, I just tell it to go to home number two, three, here you go. And that's how the robot, uh, it will be triggering, let me here, for example, let me go to the IO and we watch uh, the output, digital output right here. I have 11, 10, 11, 12. I can, you can come here and name them also. So let's go to detail and we say this is One, that's number 10, and next one, number 11, number two, and number 11, and next one, number 12, number three. There you go. So now I have these, I have numbers, let me, I have number three on because it's number three, and then we see it's number three. If I want to go to number two, let's go step by step. There we go, number one, turn on, next. Number two, turn on, next. Number three, turn on. 
And when I go to number one, let me first here at Birch, let's go back there. Oh, shift. Birch, if you want to watch this, if I go to number one, at Birch turn on. And if I go to any other position, at Birch will turn off and stays off. There you go. All right. That's about the reference position or setup reference position and here the BR how to use this in your program thank you very much